Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Talisha, also known as Creativity by T. Today I am coming to you with a McCall's Know Me and a couple of new look patterns that I picked up. Um, McCall's and Know Me patterns was recently on sale and the new McCall patterns were out. So I had to go ahead and pick up a couple even though like I said, I just need to stop, but it's not going to, at least not that I can see. So I'm going to just stop saying that because I keep picking up these patterns. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you what these patterns are. So for the first pattern, I picked up this McCall's 8384. This is a new spring pattern and I just absolutely love this dress. Let's look at the pattern description. The pattern description is Mrs. Shirt Dresses and it, the suggested fabrics are cotton blends, gauze, gingham, and lightweight sear sucker. It is a lined dress, so keep that in mind. Here are the line drawings over here. And I love every single view of this pattern. I would probably make this view though. I just for some reason am liking this midi length right here. But I also like A. Um, so yeah, I just really, really love this style of dress. And I think it is very on trend as well as fashionable. So that is the first pattern, McCall's 8384. Then I picked up McCall's 8380. This is a 1940s vintage pattern, but I love, love, love this half shoulder type deal with the bow on the top and I am very big busted but this is going to give me coverage all the way up to underneath the arm so I mean cleavage won't even show so I really 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 love this look and I had to pick it up and the pattern description is Mrs. Dresses so let's look at the suggested fabrics so the suggested fabrics are going to be your cotton blends gingham and shantung and it does call for one nine inch zipper and here are the line joins in the back I hope to get this sewn up this summer I have a lot of summer plans and I'm not quite sure in the order of how I'm going to do things but I'm definitely going to try to get this squeezed in so this pattern number is also a new McCall's for this collection. This is McCall's 8388 and the pattern description is Mrs. Tops. I do have a lot of similar patterns, but the reason why I picked it up was because of this detail. And honestly, I think that's something I could have just done on my own, but I'm always for convenience. The pattern piece is already in there, so why do it? So for the view obviously that i would go for is going to be this view d right here i also love uh this view b and c so very very nice and what i've noticed about a lot of these patterns is you can make these for the fall the winter and the summer spring because all of the different views here have something for every season so Technically, I didn't have to pick it up right now, but I did, and I am really loving it. So let's look at the line drawings. So here are the line drawings in the back. So C has a very unique opening here, and D has that same opening like in the back underneath the zipper, and B has that as well. I will zoom in on it so you can get a better look. But yeah, although this is a very familiar looking style, I really like it and I felt like it was worth me going ahead and picking up. Then I have McCall's 8386. This is also one of the new patterns and this top is also familiar, but the reason why I picked it up is because this pattern has A, B, C, D cup sizes. So this has the cup sizes as you can see right here. It says separate pattern pieces for A, B, C, and D cup sizes. I've already mentioned in this haul that I'm busty, so that is a win for me. But because I have a lot of cleavage that shows, I will be raising this front neckline here. And you already know I love a peplum, so definitely loving this pattern. So the suggested fabrics are going to be your brocades, cotton blends, pop blends, and taffeta. This also has lining and you need interfacing. And here are the line joints in the back. So now on to the Know Me pattern. I picked up Lydia Naomi's pattern and I 
I watch her on YouTube and I have been for a long time. She's a very talented young lady and I just love her style. Some of them though doesn't really look good with my body type. So I was happy to see this dress right here uh, when this came out with the Nomi patterns. And this is ME2031 and the description is Mrs. Dresses. It's a, a nice shirt dress that has bust gathers and I just think it's super cute. So the suggested fabrics are going to be your chambray cotton blends, crinkle cotton, linen blends, poplin and seersucker and here are the line drawings and you all know I love a fit and flare and so I'm very excited about this. So for the finished garment measurements the bust sizes go from 36 to 52 and a half inches so that is another reason why i was sold on picking up this pattern because even with other patterns with the bust gathers i don't feel comfortable making those things because of my larger bust but because there's so much room a lot of in the different pattern sizes for bust mine um, i have been losing weight so my bust went from a 46 and a half down to a 45 so i would definitely have space so this next new pattern by Nomi is ME2033. This was designed by Handmade Millennium and the pattern description is Mrs. Crop Tops and Pants. I absolutely think this is just so cute and trendy. I just really love it just for the color blocking reasons and for the fact that with her being a newer designer she came up with something that you are not seeing on repeat. This is not something that I have seen before from any of the other designers to this degree so I am really appreciating that in her and I do want to make that as well this summer. And so let's look at the suggestive fabrics. So the suggestive fabrics are going to be your chambray cotton blends, lightweight stretch wovens and linen blends and I love a linen and here are your line drawings in the back now I will say that for this crop top I'm a little nervous I'm a little nervous about that yet um, just because my belly is still not in the space to where I feel like I'd be like a hundred percent comfortable not wearing anything underneath it so I will probably lengthen the top not by too much because I don't want to take away from the design but I, I'll probably lengthen it a little bit and probably bring up the waistband or, or however the pan is designed let me look yeah I will probably bring up the waistband it's a flat front elastic back so yeah super super duper cute so for the next one this is me2027 and this is by Kichi B Style, which is Marsha. Can't remember her last name, but I am, I just totally love her style. And I was definitely picking this up. I haven't been able to make the dress that she designed for the last release, but I was able to make the first one. So I love a jumpsuit, as everyone already knows. And there's buttons in the front. Of this jumpsuit so that's a win but the pattern description is women and misses jumpsuit and romper so depending on when i get to this it will that would determine which view that i make but i love both views so let's look at the uh, line drawings in the back and what the fabric recommendations are so the fabric recommendations are going to be your cotton blends crepe crepe to shine rayon silky types and viscose and here are your line drawings in the back. Now I have not opened up my pattern yet to look at all the different pattern pieces or the guide or whatever, but what I did hear um, from another YouTuber that was talking about this pattern that there are pattern pieces, I think it was Raven, Raven Moore Ring, that there's different pattern pieces for all of these different color blocked areas. So you can really make something unique with that you know some people don't like a lot of pattern pieces and sometimes I'm not in the mood for a lot of different pattern pieces but when I am in the mood that's when I'm going to be pulling for that and anything else that's a color block so yes definitely appreciating the fashion in this pattern 
And then we have ME2030. This is Dewana Chandler's pattern. And the pattern description is Mrs. Romper and Dress. This is super, super cute. And I really, really love how this design is here with the button placket. It goes at a curve. You can probably see it on the turquoise a little better. But I really, really thought this was cute. I feel that Dewana kind of designs based on her body type, which is perfectly fine, but it's obvious that my body type is not like hers. So I have not really felt comfortable buying any of the Nomi patterns that she has put out up until now. So I really, 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 really like this. And not that my body type is <laughs> like hers, but I can pull this off. So let's look at the line drawings in the back and the suggested fabrics. So the suggested fabrics are going to be your chambray's, cotton blends, denim, linen blends, stretch wovens. And here are your line drawings in the back. So it comes with the dress that's on top, the romper on the bottom, and then there's a self belt. And then you can see that design here for the front placket. All right, now we have new look 6617. And I just happened to see this. This has been out for some time. At, when I looked at the back of the pattern, I saw the date that it was released. I can't remember what the date is right now, but it's been out for some time and I'm I don't recall seeing this before, but the reason why I picked this up is because first of all, it's cute. Second of all, it's a new look comes in my size. And third of all, because it calls for crepe fabric. And I have this stash of crepe fabric and I have like four yards of each and it's 60 inches wide. And I don't want to like make two piece sets. I want to make something that's going to suck up all of the fabric in this pattern will do it justice. I even have a mauve pink in crepe that is, a, you know, I have four yards of, and I could make this right here. I can make that dress identical to this. And the largest bust size for this pattern is 47. And like I said, I'm at a 45. So win, win. So let's look at this other suggestive fabrics in the line drawings. So the other suggested fabrics are going to be a Charmise cotton lawn, the crepe, crepe design, double Georgette, silky types and wool. And here are their line drawings. Uh, this does have 13, I think it said, no, 11, 11 pattern pieces. So that's not terrible. Once you start going past 11, that's when it starts. Eh. But yes, I think it's super cute. And there's two views here. So you have this main view up here, and then you have this here for your kind of like a cold shoulder look. And here's another view of it up the front view. So I, I like all the views. And when you're looking at this pattern, because it's so long and flowy and it has a little flounce at the bottom, it looks like it would take a lot of fabric. But even in my size, at the longest length, it only takes two and five eighths yard of fabric for the um, 60 inch you know, fabric cuts, which is what I have. So I'll still have some left, but at least I won't have like a, a whole lot. And I do have an idea of what I can do with the rest of that particular color. So that is New Look 6617. And then I picked up New Look 6750 and the pattern description for this is Mrs. Wrap Dresses. So why did I pick this up? I had a wrap dress in the last one. This pattern calls for crepe as well. And like I said, I've had it in my stash. I am really like kind of determined to start sewing down my stash to free up space and for me to feel free to purchase more fabric and actually feel justified. <laughs> so anyway, I, I think it's super cute though. Um, I love every view. This is another pattern that you can make year round. You have your sleeveless in view A, which is your turquoise view. This could be made for the fall or summer. You just have to pick the right color fabric and, and spring and same here. So let's see what other fabrics are suggested for this. So the other fabric suggestions are going to be your chalet, charmeau, cotton lawn, of course your crepe, crepe design, double Georgette gingham, silky tights, and vial. But this does have a lining and it just uses lining fabrics. And here are the line drawings in the back. 
So that is it for my Nomi McCall's and New Look haul. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Let me know which pattern was your favorite one and all those good things. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the gray notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!